Welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by simpletut.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to create your very own hashtag system which you can incorporate into your own websites, your projects, um, social networks and, and other sites and programs with similar functionality. So in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to code exactly this. So what I've done here is it's a very simple example. Um, I've actually gone ahead and I've written the code out here but what I'm doing in this example as you can see is I've got a simple table within my database it's just got two fields in in the text field I've got a simple string which is testing hashtag and then of course I have my hashtag what I'm doing is I'm outputting this text on the page and I'm detecting with my PHP that there is a hashtag and it's turning the hashtag into a link and you could have multiple hashtags within the same text once a user clicks that hashtag if we look at the URL it's directing them to a search page and it's actually uh, sending that uh, hashtag that was clicked in a URL parameter as you can see hashtag which you can then use um, to actually search your database um, to display uh, other records, other posts, etc., which have the same hashtag within them. So, if I give you an example, if uh, directly in the uh, database, if I actually insert another record, and let's uh, just for this example, I'm just going to say this is an example and let's turn example and um, let's turn that into a hashtag and click on go I've obviously added another record to my database if I return to uh, my page refresh it you'll see the most recent now you can put this in a loop of course and actually uh, repeat this for all the records in your uh, in your database etc this is just a simple example of how it works but of course you now have the um, the new post once that's clicked of course you're getting that example so this is a full hashtag system uh, which I'm going to be showing you how to uh, develop within Dreamweaver um, and PHP um, so please follow along with the tutorial to learn uh, more and allow me to explain the code for you. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is just create an initial string. Um, and this is just going to equal whatever you want. Um, I'm going to come back to this later on in the tutorial, make this part dynamic. But for now, we're just going to work with um, text that we're putting in directly. So let's just say this is an example. And let's make example a hashtag by just placing that symbol before the hashtag, the word. Um, and of course, we need to define the symbol that we're actually going to be looking for uh, within the text. So we're just going to say hashtag equals uh, the hashtag symbol. And then we need to create um, an array variable. Um, and basically we want to explode and we're just going to put this string and we then need to create a count this is just going to basically count the number of hashtags um, and of course we just need to create an i variable which will make more sense later on and it's just gonna for now it's just gonna equal um, zero now we have now defined all the variables that we need but we need to start uh, really programming it to actually um, do something with all these variables so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, write out the code and then I'm going to return to this tutorial and explain the code and give you an opportunity to actually copy it and you know pause the video write it out yourself
Okay, so returning to this tutorial, I've just gone ahead and I've written the code. What we're going to basically be doing is we've first we've defined all of these variables that we need um, to actually create the conditions and actually sort of program it uh, with the behavior that we need. Now, what I'm doing is I'm using a while loop. Now, the while loop the way that works is is we're actually um, we're setting a condition and as long as this condition uh, continues um, it will continually go through this this loop um, provided that the condition is still true um, and everything uh, in between this these two brackets here these curly braces um, is what this will continue to do. So within this while loop we have an if statement and then uh, just before that we have we're incrementing with the plus plus to ensure that um, this is carried out for every single hashtag within our string because you might have multiple hashtags within your string. So just to explain the code, what we're doing here is we've defined our condition. Uh, we're basically looking for the hashtags um, because we were using the hashtag variable we created earlier and that contains the symbol of hashtag which is what we're looking for within our string. Um, and what we're basically doing is we're turning that hashtag into a variable. Um, we're using preg replace to remove any unwanted characters. We're actually removing the hashtag. Um, we're basically looking for everything between uh, 0 and 9 and A to Z. We're not uh, making it case sensitive. Um, and then we're just putting basically uh, removing those unwanted characters, spaces, etc. And we're, we're putting that back into the uh, same variable. So we're kind of overriding it. And then we're turning that into a link. This is a very, very important part. Those hashtags are becoming a link. And that link is taking them to hashtag search.php with the um, URL parameter of search tag and that equals the variable here. Note that we are removing the hashtag because that would destroy the URL but we're including that in the actual um, URL. So we're sending that once the user clicks to this page with this parameter with the actual hashtag in as the obviously uh, as the parameter um, and then we're imploding it because of course we exploded uh, the string and then uh, we've actually done everything we need to so actually to preview this um, all we need to do is actually just echo out the string so let's actually um, load this out in a browser. So I'm just going to load Internet Explorer. And as you can see, our string, which was this is an example. And the example was the hashtag. You can see that the hashtag is highlighted in blue. It's a link. And if we just click on that, you can see that the hashtag is coming through in the URL parameter it says example here so we've removed the hashtag because it wouldn't work the link would be invalid what I previously explained was that I was going to use the database I was gonna make this dynamic so how do I actually go ahead and do that well it's actually very simple all I need to do is if I come over to my server behaviors and I'm just going to create a record set. And I'm just going to call this, um, let's, you can call it anything you want. Um, I'm just going to say h tag. 
um, and you can filter it as you want you can sort it by a timestamp I'm just going to click on OK that's going to put in the record set to the page now note our code has to be after after the actual record set because we're using the record set here now after I've created the record set I can come over to bindings and expand my record set and here where we are creating or, or where we're defining the string at the moment we've actually just inputted the text directly but what we want to do is we want to pull it in because we're gonna bind it here so if I drag this over it's now working from the record set which is coming in from the database so I can save it and now if I load this in Explorer you can see it's actually coming in from the database and you could put this within a repeat region or you could put in a loop um, and etc and eventually you know this is it you can do anything you want this is your hashtag system again look at the variable in the, sorry the parameter in the URL when it's clicked hashtag so this is what you want uh, that's how you do a hashtag system now once you've actually got that hashtag um, once it's uh, you know that's clicked it's it's then a URL parameter and you can then uh, get a hold of that parameter and search your database via that URL parameter so this is how you create a hashtag system um, it's actually not as complicated as as people think Thank you very much for following along with this video tutorial. Um, I hope it was useful for you and uh, will help you take your projects to the next level. Um, but I'd just like to take this opportunity to encourage you to visit our official website, simpletut.com. Again, there'll be a link in the description of this video. Um, here we post not only all of our other tutorials, but uh, a lot of other helpful uh, areas for you, such as our ask a question area where you can post a question based on this or any other of our tutorials and a member of our team will be more than happy to get back to you. Um, of course you can browse our database of videos which cover everything from PHP classes uh, to various other jQuery JavaScript uh, content management systems and as I said previously our other tutorials on building registration systems. We also have a freebie section where you can uh, access an, a variable various number of uh, free downloads of which we're adding to all the time and of course if you do feel um, that this uh, has helped you then we always ask our clients and users to uh, click this button through to our official where you'll be able to actually uh, like us on Facebook and receive um, regular updates from us uh, when we release new tutorials information documentation help etc um, I'd also like to take this chance just to introduce you to one of our new projects, uh, which is cssmenucreator.com. Again, there'll be a link in the description. And if you uh, want to create your own uh, CSS menus, this is definitely uh, a, a product and service you will uh, be interested in because it literally writes the code for you. Again, there'll be a link in the description. Um, if you are looking for uh, PHP uh, applications or pre-built websites, then please visit our official website, SiteEasy.com. There'll be a link in the description uh, where you can access a, a various number of products, including pre-built user registration systems, site search, and much more. We also offer pre-built websites, including e-commerce, social networks, content management, file upload, property listings, much more. Uh, we are also an official PayPal partner. And if you have any questions about our products or services, then please click on the support option on our website and we'd be more than happy to get back to you.